Hi, this is Sarah Levis at Girl with the Cane, and this is the video post for Living with Spinal Muscular Atrophy in India by guest blogger Pratyush Nalam. Pratyush lives in India, where attitudes towards integrating people with disabilities into society are much different than they are in Canada and the United States. Thank you, Pratyush, for sharing your story. Being differently abled, an Indian point of view. Hello everyone, I am Pratyush Nalam, an 18-year-old guy living in Mumbai, India. I have just finished high school and entered college for my undergrad. It is wonderful of Sarah to allow me to share my story on this blog. I suffer from a disability called Spinal Muscular Atrophy, or SMA, which is a neuromuscular and genetic disorder. It essentially means that I cannot walk due to the general weakness of my muscles. I also cannot lift any weight heavier than a one liter bottle. I am confined to a wheelchair and cannot move on my own. This disorder has no cure so I will never be able to walk. Nonetheless, this hasn't stopped me from doing anything, and I live each day to the fullest. My parents have been a pillar of support for me and have ensured that I don't miss out on anything in spite of my disability. They have fought for me to get admission into normal schools. You might find this surprising being in the West but it is a different story here in India and other developing countries. Schools are reluctant to give admission to students like me because additional responsibility is placed on their head. This is in contrary to Europe and America where schools are positive about admitting any type of student and go to great lengths to ensure that the child is taken care of even if he has special needs. Nevertheless, I must add that I am grateful to the schools I have studied in. They have taken good care of me, and I am very indebted to them. Challenges in Society Living with a disability here in India, or any developing country for that matter, presents its own set of challenges. The first and foremost is accessibility. This has been the single biggest problem for me right throughout my life. You have steps everywhere, but ramps will be present only in a few places. It is a great headache every time I go out. I have to think twice before going out, whether it is for a movie, for shopping, or just to have dinner at a restaurant. This is the reason I have always used a manual wheelchair instead of a motorized one. Life is much simpler because manual wheelchairs are lighter and it is easier for people to lift when there are steps. Another major issue is the attitude of the people themselves. People look at you in a different light whenever they see you in a wheelchair. They show unnecessary sympathy, but no empathy. Moreover, you get all sorts of stares when you go out. You get the, why is this guy in a wheelchair look? As if it is a sin to be in a wheelchair and not be able to walk. There are even people who think there is something mentally wrong with me. I have had persons asking my parents if I can hear and talk. I mean, what nonsense is this? It is a herculean task to make people understand that I only have a physical disability and my mental faculties are in perfect working condition. The importance of attitude. These challenges are faced on a day-to-day -day basis, not just by me, 
but by anyone who faces a physical disability. Awareness among the common man is extremely low in such issues. Anyway, now I have entered college. I study at the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, in the field of computer science engineering. This field of technology has been my passion since childhood, and hence I have chosen the aforementioned branch. The Institute has been very kind to me, and they have provided me with a motorized wheelchair to travel within the campus, as distances on campus are very large. Ramps are present at most places, and they have promised to build the remaining ones so that I don't face any difficulty. Living with a disability has not stopped me from living life just like anyone else, but with some modifications. Life has been generally good, and I am grateful to God for whatever I have. I also thank Sarah for allowing me to contribute to her blog. Pratt Ushals also blogs, and he likes to have people contribute to his blogs for those that are interested in that sort of thing. And uh, he's provided his contact information, and that's all at my blog if you're interested in contacting him or writing something for his blog. And that's it for today. Thanks for listening.